In today's video, there have been some major updates on the social media platforms and I am going to share those updates with you, so keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks so much for joining in. If you're new here, my name is Angel. I'm a social media influencer and content creator with a following across all of the platforms. You can just call me a diversified influencer. This is my second YouTube channel that I created to share behind the scenes of being a creator. And if that interests you, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you get notified each time I upload a video. All right, let's jump right into this. Now, as I said, for those of you who don't know me, I do have a following across mostly all the platforms, okay? And in today's video, there have been some major updates on the social media platforms. And I am going to share those updates with you. So keep watching. So if you don't know, I am a diversified content creator. That means pretty much I have a following on multiple channels, practically every channel, which includes YouTube channels. This is my second, um, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, TikTok, I love TikTok by the way. Follow me there if we aren't. Instagram and Facebook, if I didn't say that already. And I have a blog. But yeah, so I utilize all the platforms. So I can give you an overall gist of each of them. I just really love studying social media. And so I utilize it at its full force. There have been some changes and updates going on on these social media platforms. So I'm gonna give you the most recent updates that I know of. If you didn't know, you can make money on Facebook with ads, just as you can on YouTube, okay? Now, if you wanna know the requirements, cause Facebook has their own set of requirements, just like YouTube has their own set. I put that in a separate video. You can watch that video. Now, in the past, your video had to have been three minutes to monetize and put ads on your videos on Facebook. That was the minimum. But <laughs> recently there's been a change. And the reason why I know it is because I recently uploaded a video shorter than three minutes. And guess what? Your videos don't have to be three minutes now to put ads on them. Like that is so yeah, they don't have to be three minutes now, which is great because from my experience, okay, this is just from me and my channels and my content. I can't speak for everyone. People don't really go on Facebook to binge and watch videos as much as they do on YouTube. Like when they go to YouTube, they are going to watch videos, okay? But when they go to Facebook, they're not necessarily going to watch videos, you know, because Facebook is, you know, a multifaceted platform it's a lot of stuff on Facebook but they're not necessarily going to like binge videos so I do see that people watch more on YouTube than they watch on Facebook so my content on Facebook is the same but the viewership is not the same so that three minute every video had to be three minutes to get monetized was a little bit tougher to get because people don't go to binge. But now that videos don't have to be three minutes. So I had put up a minute and a half video on Facebook and it gave me the option to monetize it with ads, which I was shocked because of course it always had to be three minutes. Now, is there a minimum requirement? I do not know. I'm gonna read you what I just found on their Facebook website. So once you've reached the eligibility requirements to get monetized, it says, please know in-stream monetization supports content less than three minutes long. It does not give a minimum requirement once you have met that eligibility threshold. Once you've met that, it doesn't say how long it has to be. It just says that they do support in-stream ads with content less than three minutes long. So there you go. So if you're gonna incorporate, you know, that revenue stream in your business in the future, it's a good thing to know. For YouTube, there's also been an update with YouTube with the threshold of minutes. So in the past with YouTube, your video had to be at least 10 minutes to be able to add more ads in your video. It's kind of a tongue twister, add more ads. <laughs> so now the minimum threshold to incorporate like mid roll ads is eight minutes which is great so you don't have to make that 
10 minute threshold now to get those mid roll ads. That change was done a few months ago, like maybe middle of last year or something. And you still could monetize videos less than that. You just can't do like mid roll. You could, you know, do the beginning and the ending for ads. But yeah, it's eight minutes now. So there you go. Moving on, another great update. And I think this was available in the past, but it's just much more easier now, relevant now. But that is you can schedule your post on Instagram through the Facebook Creator Studio. If you didn't know, Facebook owns Instagram and Facebook has a creator studio, just like YouTube has a creator studio. And with the studio, he gets so many options in there. If you guys have not checked that out, you should. It's it's very useful, insightful, and a powerful resource. But Instagram also is in your creator studio if you have your account linked to your Facebook page. Now, you can actually go in the creator studio and schedule your Instagram post now for both feed post and IGTV. Stories isn't available as of yet, but it'll be great when it does and if it does because scheduling is my life. I'm all about scheduling. And the reason why that's a huge deal is because a lot of times with Instagram, you have to use third party apps to do your scheduling. I have used so many from Buffer to Preview to Child Planally and Later. It's so many out there. Tailwind has Instagram app to know it's so many out there and I've tried most of them if you guys want to know my opinions on each of those drop me a comment I may come and do an in-depth video comparing what I'm using now what I've used in the past and what I like or dislike about them but here's the thing with Instagram allowing you to schedule inside the app now and create a studio it's free <laughs> you don't have to pay a third party now to schedule your Instagram post and I've done it with Facebook. I've scheduled posts. I still schedule posts with Facebook. It's free, guys. So I think that's huge, especially for those of us who are used to paying outside third parties to be able to schedule content. And if you guys are curious how I'm able to manage all of these platforms and actually post to all of them, I'll come back in the future if you guys are interested in knowing more and kind of tell you the things that I do and how I operate my business. Here's another thing with Facebook. Facebook is now behind hashtags. Like they are promoting hashtags now. That's new because in the past, Facebook was never a hashtag type of platform. That was always Instagram and Twitter and all of that but now i got a message recently saying facebook is now behind promoting and pushing hashtags now i don't really say i know how it works right now i've tried it on a few pieces of content on facebook and i haven't really seen traction from it so i really am not sure how they're gonna work with the whole hashtag system is it gonna be on the explore page i don't know i really don't know but that's just interesting new update now that they're behind hashtags now another recent thing and you may know this you may not i don't know but i have my facebook page linked with my instagram so when i post on instagram i also like to post on facebook with the additional feature on instagram so i don't have to do extra work so as i post a feed post it goes directly to my facebook page too and with the stories the same thing now one thing in the past that facebook didn't do and instagram didn't do when i would post instagram and i of course will have it automatically pushing to my facebook page too the swipe up never worked on my facebook page so i will have to manually go into my facebook page add the story and manually add the swipe up same with polls and questions like if I had put a poll on my Instagram story and I just, you know, will have it the option to automatically post to my Facebook page, even though it automatically posts, like the question wasn't clickable, the sticker wasn't clickable, I literally would have to manually go in there and add a poll or a question or whatever on my Facebook page story because it wasn't syncing going through. Now, there has been an update to that. So any swipe up I put on Instagram is gonna be a swipe up on the Facebook page now. Any question or poll that you put on your 
Instagram is now on your Facebook. So I don't have to manually do both and put forth the extra work now. Whatever I post on Instagram automatically goes to Facebook. And that's a relief. That's a major update, especially if you are like me and you're a diversified content creator posting on multiple platforms. That's huge. That's one less piece of work that you have to do and worry about now. So if you didn't know that, now you know. And if you never had to go through that, then you're probably like, well, that doesn't apply to me. <laughs> but it's okay. It's there now. Those are the major updates that has happened pretty recently and I just wanted to share with you guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions, drop them below or just stop in and say, hey, I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in my next video.